today we're going to talk about what is dopamine, why everyone struggling with some kind of addiction must understand this molecule completely and how it could help you succeed if used properly. Dopamine is the reason behind why people earn millions of dollars, have awesome relationships and are in perfect health. Yet, at the same time, it's the reason why people end up injecting heroin and ruining the rest of their lives. So, in hopes of helping you completely understand dopamine so you can use it in your favor, let's begin. What is dopamine? First of all, it's worth noting that dopamine is not only the pleasure molecule. The pathway that dopamine cells take through the brain was named the reward pathway. Therefore, dopamine was referred to as the pleasure molecule, but this is not the entire story. Dopamine's main job is to make us desire things that would give us more chances to survive. For example, eating when hungry, drinking when thirsty, getting fit and dressing better to have more sex, and winning a competition to move up the social hierarchy. Dopamine is the neurotransmitter that's in charge of moving you into action so you can collect resources that are useful from a survival point of view. When you see tasty food, you are immediately driven to eat it because high caloric food will provide you with more energy so you can live more time. Dopamine is responsible for motivation. Dopamine is the molecule that helps your brain focus on the future. It's the molecule that's in charge of motivating you to take the necessary actions that will make you have a better life. Every time you feel that you desire something, you are having high levels of dopamine in the brain. Every bit of desire we feel for something in life is created by dopamine. If you think about it, desire and motivation are both states of mind that make you focus on the future. Both are feelings associated with wanting something better in the future. Dopamine makes you want more and more. Dopamine is also the culprit of the feelings of dissatisfaction. Dopamine blinds people to all they have because there's something better out there. Dopamine is always chasing what you don't have. Dopamine is also in charge of the human exploration. Every time you encounter something new, like a new restaurant or a new movie, you will be rewarded with a bit of dopamine. Dopamine responds to novelty. The more novelty something in your life provides, the more you will be drawn to it. Only unexpected and novel rewards trigger dopamine. That's why things like porn and gambling are so addictive. Every new video and every new bet will bring forth completely new rewards. On the other hand, the more any reward is enjoyed, the less dopamine will be released. Having the same meal and watching the same movie again and again will turn out to be boring at some point, because there's nothing new in them. Dopamine doesn't give you pleasure for the things you have, it can only give you pleasure for acquiring new things, new food, new videos, new Instagram picture and so on. Once you get it, dopamine shuts off. Dopamine is related to feelings of euphoria. Any state of intense excitement and pleasure is highly influenced by dopamine. For example, when you climax having sex or the pleasure you feel when you score the last minute goal. By the way, if you want to go into more depth about how dopamine works and how to use it to your advantage, make sure to grab the audiobook of Dopamine, The Molecule of More by Dr. Daniel Liverman. You can get it for free by signing up to your audible.com free trial with the link in the description of this video. Moving on, how does dopamine make you feel? 1. Motivated Dopamine is related to the new rewards we could achieve in the future. That's why it's referred to as the motivation molecule. It helps us achieve desired new outcomes in the future. The problem is that, as soon as what we hope for becomes what we have, dopamine disappears. This could lead people to forever chase new things, only to find themselves completely dissatisfied as soon as they obtain them. Dopamine gives you the motivation needed to come up with new solutions to your existing problems. Dopamine makes the world a better place because motivation is what leads to invention and therefore to changing the world. 2. Focused Every achievement requires some form of work and work requires focus. Now, the thing is that dopamine will only help you focus on the things that will give you rewards in the future. This is why people spend hours choosing and editing the best photo to get the most amount of likes. The degree of the rewards determines the degree of focus experienced. 3. Creative Dopamine also drives curiosity and creativity. As humans, we are always seeking for ways to make our futures better. Most of the times, this requires doing something we haven't done before and this is referred to as being creative. All creativity contains some form of exploration, novelty and reward. It's no wonder that in order to be creative, people need a healthy dopamine circuit. 
let's talk about dopamine's role in addiction. Dopamine's role is to pursue whatever feels rewarding regardless of whether it is heroin or a meal with your best friends. Dopamine assumes that any reward is healthy, and the more, the better. The problem with drugs is that they are more rewarding than any other thing in nature. Porn is more rewarding than sex, that's why most men are losing interest in real women and are totally focused on pixels on a screen. Netflix provides more novelty and shock than reading. That's why people find it so hard to sit down and read for 30 minutes but can spend their whole weekend watching Netflix. Junk food is more rewarding than healthy food. That's why people can't stop eating burgers even though they are morbidly obese. The body recognizes that it can only get this amount of dopamine from these drugs and thus the addiction begins. Dopamine's main role in addiction is motivating you to seek and chase again the substance that gave you the highest reward. Here are some ways in which the most common drugs hijack the reward circuit. 1. Pornography is so dangerous because it gives you two kinds of pleasure. First, it gives you a lasting sense of contentment every single second you're watching it. Second, you get a rush of pleasure when you finish your deal. Porn is more pleasurable than sex because it tricks your brain into thinking that you're having sex with hundreds of women in a short amount of time. The problem is that no single woman can compete with hundreds of artificially sculpted women on a screen. As a result, it's impossible to have a lasting and fulfilling romantic relationship when you're constantly seeking new women to have sex with. 2. Social media is designed to give you novelty. A new post, a new friend, a new video, a new story, and so on. Social media also provides you with more. More likes, more friends, more comments. In addition, the problem with social media is that it's all about you. You get immediate feedback on your social status. Having your Instagram post liked by hundreds of people is more rewarding than hanging out with your friends or making small talk with a stranger. It's no wonder that people can't turn their face away from these platforms. 3. Hardcore drugs provide people with novelty and intensity without any effort. People can light up a new cigarette in new places and with new people. People can have lots of alcoholic drinks in new combinations and in increasing quantities. Heroin addicts can increase their dose until they literally die because of it. As you can see, the problem with stimulating your dopamine circuit to extreme levels is that you can end up being someone who is consistently seeking more and new things in the future. As a result, you will despise your current conditions. By the way, it's very important to properly understand which substances trigger the most amount of dopamine in the brain. That's why I recommend you watch this video I made in which I ranked, in order of their intensity, the substances that have the worst effect on the dopamine circuit. I will leave the link to this video in the description box below. Moving on, let's talk about the pitfalls of excessive dopamine. See, too much dopamine overstimulates the reward center of the brain, taking it out of balance. The brain solves this problem by reducing the sensitivity to dopamine and also by reducing dopamine receptors. As a result, dopamine's effect have less impact and this leads to some problems like boredom, inability to concentrate, lack of motivation, and so on. Excessive dopamine can also remove your attention from the present moment. Dopamine is all about the future, is all about seeking, all about desire, and therefore all about dissatisfaction with the present moment. If you want to get lasting satisfaction from the things you have, you have to stop chasing and desiring so many things and come to the here and now. The great news is that you can decide whether or not to always be chasing things or enjoying what you currently have. The way you can do this is by practicing gratitude for all the things you currently have in your life. This is worth knowing because there's another kind of pleasure and it's all about feeling a lasting sense of joy in the present moment and here dopamine doesn't play a role. The feeling of happiness and joy in the present moment is created by neurotransmitters like serotonin, oxytocin and endorphins. That said, let's talk about healthy ways to get dopamine. Since dopamine is the seeking and chasing molecule, the best way to increase it in a responsible way is by seeking and chasing the things that your ideal version would like to have. I would add the caveat that who you want to be must make the world a better place. If you want to have a family in your future, you can invest in a healthy romantic relationship, joining a charity and also volunteering groups. 
If you want to be a healthy and athletic person, you can exercise five times per week, you can follow a whole foods diet, you can develop a meditation practice, and you can work on your emotional health. This means that there are no universal principles to enjoy the most amounts of dopamine. Just as one person loves exercising, another can absolutely dislike it. Why? Because both are seeking different futures for themselves. I believe that the best way to use dopamine is to help you pursue the type of person you would like to be. Of course, this doesn't mean that you can't enjoy your favorite fast food or binge watch Netflix from time to time, but it can't be every day. From time to time, you need to turn off your dopamine circuit. Let your gratitude and mindfulness muscles develop. Connect with your family. Be fully present in every meal. Pay attention to your senses and let your attention be 100% in the present moment. Stop chasing the next gadget, the next photo or the next person. Enjoy being here, right now. In the end, both modes of being are necessary. You need to be able to plan for the future and go for it and you also need to appreciate what you have right now. I hope this video was helpful, so I will talk to you soon.